Okay, so my first swag and attempt at this uh, car using on shape, this is kind of what I came up with so far. Uh, so I'm going to try and uh, tailor this series of videos to try and get you to this point. Okay, um, I'm pretty pretty happy with this outcome, although I think there's a couple things wrong with it. But uh, there's no guarantee I'll improve <laughs> on this effort. Uh, this has got some neat elements that I actually like. So um, we'll give it a shot, huh? Um, so when we create this document, and again, always share it with me, uh, I'm going to call this Vehicle Design Project, and then put my name on it. <laughs> and maybe I, what I should have done there is kind of showed you what you're trying to build towards. What is the logic of putting this together? And um, to do that, maybe the best thing for me to do is kind of point out that there's a, definitely a lot of, not, a, not too much, but there's a series of planes and sketches that have to happen. So you can, you're creating a front and rear opening that you're lofting from, uh, basically. Um, so let me see. Turn some of these sketches on. You'll see them. All right. Well, with the sketches off, maybe I can come down here and then show you. I'm going to turn that off. All right, so the body itself of the vehicle is basically created from this profile in the front that I created on a plane, sketched on a plane, to this profile in the back. And then I have a bunch of guide curves here that you can see. I didn't use them all. A um, few of these didn't really work or co were corrupted, which is why... When I do this tutorial, I'll show you how to try and avoid that. Um, but basically, I have these curves here at the belt. So I'll do this really quick so you can see what I mean. Watch this. So loft from that profile to that profile. And then you go here to guides and continuities. So you want these control lines. So I created first, I created the one right up the middle. Just sketched on that right plane and then that one. And you can see how it's starting to change to that shape already. And then I created these curves at the belt line, which I pick on both sides. So I always mirrored that curve as best I could. And then one down here at the sill line, which I think was this one that I was picking right there. And this one, yeah. There we go. Okay. So that actually creates the form. What's, in, what's nice about this is, as a designer, you can go back into these sketches, right? And you could change something about the sketch like that, and it will update on the loft. So you'll be able to play around with it to get it to write what you need it to be. You see that? Okay. So in every, in every view and every curve, you can work those until you got it just right. All right, so let me go back. We created this new model to work on. And what I'll do is I'll, um, here, it's empty right now. So you saw that front and back plane. So what I do is just create a plane that's offset from the front plane. And I'll make it the back plane, basically. So I'll say, all right, let's create an offset plane. And um, by the way, Offset from the front plane, yes. Uh, and how much? Um, I think I did my first attempt at 12. I may try lucky number 13. Okay, and then. Um, so basically, that's the back plane and that's the front plane. And uh, I might just start by creating and sketching on that front plane to create that front opening element. And um, I may do a center rectangle here off of the center 
just to give me an idea of how to sketch out that front opening. And I think uh, in this case, I'm going to want to give it that specific dimensions here. So I want I want that to be four feet wide, possibly the opening. Oh, sorry, that was inches. You put four feet in there. There we go. And up to um, the opening, uh, I'm going to say up to and not including two feet. Well, that's just a guide uh, for me. And now uh, I'm going to create my uh, opening sketch using the spline tool inside of that. So I'm going to start right here in the middle and then kind of come over here, drop two points, come over here, drop two more, like that, double click and all right, and I'm gonna hit escape so I can get up here and sort of play with this. Yeah, I actually kind of like that. And I always encourage you to play around with the controls to, to get something that uh, you can have a lot of fun with all the different controls here. I'm going to say that's pretty good. That's what I like. And then uh, I'll, I'm going to do show you a trick that you want to do in both cases on the front and the rear, which is uh, mirror this element so you don't have to try and recreate an exact copy. What you can do is mirror it. And uh, to do a mirror, the, the, one of the things you first have to do, set up a vertical line in the middle. That's pretty standard in all of the CAD that I've ever used. You have to do that. Um, and that's going to be your mirror line. So now when you choose a mirror tool, it says, uh, what do you want to, what's the mirror itself? What's the thing that, the line that defines the mirror? And then you go and pick the thing you want to mirror across that line. In this case, that. And by the way, so I'm sorry, let me go back into the sketch. And now if I'm if I go and move these elements, sorry, let me uh, edit sketch. You see how it will move it on the mirror too? Pretty handy, huh? Pretty handy. All right, there we go. Um, before I close out, you know what I'm going to do is probably snip that. So that is uh, snipped. And the other thing I'll do, this is just a old time CAD guys trick, but we obsess over correctness sometimes, <laughs> is make those construction elements. There we go. Those are guides. Now I'm going to go back to the rear and create that one. Okay. So I have a front one already. And I can change that at any time. But now, actually, uh, yeah, there we go. So new sketch. I'm going to just go to the back. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna, I don't need to create the guide. I think I can just reuse the one that's there in the background for reference when I do this back deck here. But I am going to do the same basic technique, right? So I'm going to kind of come in here and uh, maybe go to make the back deck similar, but maybe a smidge bigger. And uh, again, I will need to make my mirror line. Escape, and then I'm right clicking, selecting construction, then I'm going to move mirror and it says what, across what line and I said that line and then what do you pick I pick that bam so I've got it front and rear and uh so now I need to you know define front and rear and how are the side the the sill and the belt line and I'm going to put a line a character line to start with right down the middle. So go to this right side and sketch on that. And 
right plane, spline tool, and all right. So this is important when you do this whole exercise is connecting these control guides to control points on your end ending profiles. So your end profiles have, you know, uh, control points like, uh, uh, here, let me hit escape, make sure that we know what they are. So see how that's a control knob and that's a control knob or a control point, control point, control point, control point right in the middle. So you wanna tie all of your, create all your planes and make all your guide sketches through these control points. So I just want to make sure I point that out. And that's key to making this work successful. So back again to that sketch that I was on. And then I was making that curve. And then it's going to be from that midpoint, right? So I'm just going to view this again from the front. And um, I think I did a basic three-point curve when I did this the first time. So I'm going to stick with that um, methodology again. And then I just kind of came over here and made sure it went right to that control point. Um, I'm going to view this from the right, hit escape to get out of that tool and, you know, play around with different aspects. And remember, I can add a control point and I can always uh, change the look of the features this way too. Um, I kind of like this little kick up in the back, this little, uh, maybe we'll try something like that and see how that comes out. But, um, almost like a Cobra-esque, although if it was a Cobra, like a old Ford Cobra, that point would be moved up. So maybe I will do that too. There we go. Now the bottom the bottom contour here. Um, actually, so I'll finish this sketch. I can make it on the same sketch. Again, make sure it's going from that control point. There we go, and then maybe uh. All right, so something like that. Say okay. And now I have to create two more. I'm gonna stop the video at this point. Hopefully if you've gotten that far today, then you've done really well. But uh, I'm gonna make the next video to show you how to make these control uh, for the outsides of the form. And then we'll uh, try and get this thing finished.